Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss how to do the vernier scale by using the given data. Here we are using the vernier scale for marking three consecutive units like for example meters, decimeters and centimeters. We have one more scale also for marking three consecutive units. It is called diagonal scale. Here vernier scale will give the accurate value. Let us do the scale. Here take the data, construct a full size retrograde vernier scale. We need to construct one vernier scale. It has full size. Full size means here for every scale we are taking RF. RF is representative fraction. Okay. So for full size scale we have to take this value is 1. Okay. So whenever we have to see full size scale means RF value is 1. Okay. And then vernier scale of inches. This scale will show inches. Okay. And also show on it length 4.67 inches. We need to mark 4.67 inches on this vernier scale. Okay. Here let us take the given values. Here what is RF? RF is, it is nothing but ratio of drawing length to the virginal length. Okay. Drawing length means which we can able to do on the sheet. Okay. So virginal length means this length we can't do in the sheet. Okay. Whatever length we can't do in the sheet, we are assuming this length is equal to drawing length. Small length we are taking in the drawing instead of the big length. Okay. It is a ratio of two lengths. Okay. It has given one for full size scale. Okay. So same thing I have written here. RF is this formula is equal to 1. In this vernier scale, we have to mark 4.67 inches. Okay. For marking this value, we have to take scale which can measure up to 5 inches. Correct. Take round off value for this. Up to 5 inches, we have to show in this vernier scale. Okay. In 5, in 5 inches scale, we can mark this value. Correct. So take the virginal length. It is approximately round off value. 5 inches. Okay. It is equal to, just now we took it is RF is 1. We need to find out drawing length of this 5 inches. How much length we have to do for the 5 inches. Okay. So take virginal length is 5 inches is equal to 1. So in it we need to find drawing length. It is is equal to 5 inches into 1 means it is coming 5 inches. Okay. But here we have to do the drawing length in centimeter so that we can able to do in the centimeter. Okay. Convert this inches into centimeters. 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Correct. So remember this value. So substitute this inch value here. So 5 into we are taking this value here. Okay, by using calci we are getting 12.7 centimeters. Okay, drawing length is equal to 12.7 centimeter. Here we have to do 12.7 centimeter line. This will show how many inches? 5 inches. Okay. Let us do here by using the drawing instruments. Mark the end points. 12.7. Join these two points. Okay, this is the length of the scale. Here take in the vernier scale 1 centimeter and make it into one box. Here 1 centimeter and here also do 1 centimeter. Join these two ends. Do one line here. Now this scale length is 12.7 centimeter. It is nothing but it is the entire scale is 5 inches. Okay. Now divide this scale into some parts. Okay equal number of divisions. So if you are taking 5 inches scale, divide into according to our convent 5 parts. Okay. Each part will show 1 inch. Correct. So we are dividing this 5 inches scale into 5 parts equal divisions. So each division is 1 inch. Okay. So divide this length into 5 equal divisions. Here in engineering drawing, we have one process of dividing any line into some equal number of parts. That procedure is we have to do one inclined line at the end of the scale or at, in the, at the end of the line. Okay. Divide this line into five parts. Take any radius by using compass. Okay. So take starting point as center. Just do an arc here. Okay. Take this as a center. Take the same radius. Cut it into second part. Now take this point as center. Cut it on the same line. Three. Four. 5. Okay, here extend the line. Now take the last point, join this last point to last point of the scale. Okay, here we got one inclined line. At all these points, we have to do the lines parallel to this last line. Okay, this line, parallel to this line. By using drafter, it is easy to do the parallel lines. Fix the drafter scale here. Here I am using roll scale for getting the parallel line. Just do parallel lines at all the points. So here we got intersection points. Okay. Mark the names for these points. 
I am starting from 0, 0, this intersection point is, this intersection point is 1, this intersection point is 2, this point is 3, this point is 4, this point is 5. At all these points, do the vertical lines. Now this is a 5 inches scale. In it, we have to mark 4.67 inches. Okay, here 4 inches we can directly mark. 0 to 4 will give the 4 inches. But we need to mark 0.67 also. Okay, so we can write 4.67 like this. 4 inches plus 0.6 inches this value. Okay, 0 0.6 here. Plus 0 0.07 inches. If we are adding all this, we are getting this value, correct? If we are adding all this, 7 is coming here, 6 is coming here, 4 is coming here. 4.67 we will get. Okay, the meaning is 4 inches we can mark here. But what about these values? Inches means it is a 10th inch. Okay, it is a 100th inch. So we can write this 4.67. 6 is 1 10th inch. Okay, 7 is 100th inch like that. Okay, so how to mark 1 10th inch? As we know this is 1 inch. 1 tenth inch means we have to divide this box into 1 inch box into 10 parts. How to divide this length into 10 equal divisions means we can follow the same process. Okay, by taking the inclined line, we have to divide that line into 10 parts. We can take the same line also for the dividing into 10 equal divisions. But it will get confusion. That's why take one more inclined line here at the initial point. We can take any inclined line, okay, this angle, but this angle should be less than 90. Okay. After getting the inclined line, okay, take any radius. We are dividing this length, small length. That's why take the small radius, any radius. Take the initial point as the center. Do the first part. Now this point as center, do the second part. This point as center, do the third one. This point as center, do the fourth one. This point as center, do the fifth one. Now this point as center, do the sixth one. Do an arc 7th, 8th, 9th, 10. Recount once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, join this last point to this one. Okay, last point. All these lines are with thin color. Now, here we got one inclined line. At all these points, do the lines parallel to this line. Move the scale. So here we got all intersection points. At these intersection points, do the vertical lines. I divided this box into 10 parts. Divide these boxes also 10 equal divisions. For dividing these boxes, Take this length already we have divided equal divisions. Take the same length by using compass. Divide the divide this box into 10 parts. So here we have divided into 10 parts. Here 10 parts, here 10, here 10. So at all these intersection points, do the vertical lines. Take this is the reference line. Move the scale at all points, do the vertical line. Now after that, here we have to construct the Venier scale. Okay, for doing the Venier scale, here we have to extend this main scale. Just do one line here of some length. Okay, here also do the line of some length. So on this extension lines, mark this 0 to 1 length. Okay, whatever length is there by using compass. Mark this 0, 1 length. Take this 0, 1 length. By using compass, mark on the extended part. This side and this side. Okay. Just close this scale. So we have extended this side, the main scale. Okay. Here also divide this length into 10 equal divisions because we have divided all the length into 10, 10 divisions. Okay. So divide this into 10 parts. Take the same length of each division. Take this length and divide this box into 10 parts. One. Okay, at all these points, do the vertical lines. Take okay, this is the reference line. 
and do the lines. We have divided 1 inch into 10 parts. Each part will show 1 by 10th inch. Okay, on it we have to do the veneer scale. For doing the veneer scale, extend the line here, this side, up to some length. And at 0 also extend the line. Take this length is also 1 centimeter. Now at 0, take the 1 centimeter height. Here also do the line. So this side veneer scale will come. Here how much length we have to mark. For marking any veneer scale, first take the first box. It is nothing but 1 inch. Okay, how many divisions we did? 10 divisions. Here take this length up to 11 divisions. Okay, these small divisions up to 11. Okay, so mark that length on the veneer scale. Okay, how to measure 11 divisions length? As we know from 0 to 1, 10 divisions. Okay, from 0 to 1, 10 divisions. 11 divisions means up to here, next box. So take this length, 11 divisions length. Okay, now mark that length on this lines. Take this point as center, mark that length. This point as center, mark that length. Here join these two points. This is a veneer scale. Divide this veneer scale into same number of divisions. Here we did 10 divisions. Here also divide this box into 10 divisions. For doing the 10 divisions, again we have to take one inclined line here. Okay. And divide it into 10 parts. So this line we may cross this main diagram. That's why take the line here in the upper direction with some angle. Okay. Divide this into 10 parts. We are, uh, we are dividing this length, small length. That's why take small radius. Okay. Now take the initial point as center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This one is 10. Okay. Here extend the line for getting the intersection point. Now count it once again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Join this last point to last point of the scale. Here we got one inclined line. At all these points, do the lines parallel to this. Now at all the intersection points, do the vertical lines. Take this is the reference line. Move the scale and do the line. Here give the name for the main scale. I am marking A, B, C, D. For the veneer scale also mark the names. So E, F, G, H. After marking the names, here mark the values. Okay. So here we have divided this 1 inch box. Okay, 0 to A. It is 1 inch box into 10 parts. Okay, in 1 inch, 10 parts means 1 tenth inch. So each box will measure 1 tenth inch. Here I have written. And here I have written each box will measure, big box will measure inch. Okay. For marking it, start with 0. This is 1 tenth inch, 2 tenth inch like that. Okay. Instead of every time marking 1 tenth, here I have written 1 tenth inch. Here 1, this is the 2, 3, 4, alternate numbers I am marking. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So this will measure 1 tenth inch. Correct? Here this is the veneer scale. How much length this veneer scale? So we have taken this length from this box. 0 to 1, 1 inch plus the 11th part. Okay. 10 parts plus 1. Okay. So it is 1.1 inch. 0 to 1, 1 inch, 0 0.1 inch. Okay. So 1.1 inch this length. So we have divided this 1.1 inch into 10 parts. Correct? We have divided this 1.1 inch into 10 parts. How much each part? Okay, one part length is equal to how much? Question. For more parts, more length. For less parts, less. Less by more into 1.1. Just do roughly these values. Less in these two values is 1. By more means 10 parts into 1.1. So how much we are getting? 0 0.11. Okay, it is nothing but 100th inch. Okay, so each box is 0 0.11 inch. Okay, that is I have written already 1 by 100th inch. Okay, two positions are there after 0. So 1 by 100th. If only one point is there, 1 by 10th. Okay, like that here 1 by 100th inch. Here mark the values. Okay, this is 0 initially. This value is 0 0.11. This is 0 0.22 like that. 
but I have written 1 by 100th that's why I write down 11 here 0 instead of 0 0.11 11 here 22 alternate points I am marking 22 33 this is 44 this point 55 this point is 66 77 88 99 110 okay mark the last point okay the meaning is 22 by 100 okay point 0.22 this value this value is 0 0.44 like that so this will measure inches this will measure 110 inch this will measure 100 inch this scale we have to mark this value correct 4.67 so you need to take the last number 7 okay in the veneer scale where 7 number is coming okay after 66 77 is coming okay take that 77 by 100 means 0 0.77 value is coming so take that value here 0.77 correct whatever large number is coming in the veneer scale take that value okay so remove this value do minus in this bigger value 7 minus 7 means 0 6 minus 7 means 9 here 3 will come okay we have to take this value 0 0.77 with okay, this value here we have to do one line okay. so at 7 7 do one line up to some length and mark this value remaining value so we have marked this 0 0.77 here from 0 to this value now we will mark this value 3.9 so this is 3 3.9 means so 9 parts after 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay here just do one line here so at this line do one extension line like this okay up to some length mark this length do the dimensional line between these two lines Keep arrows. Mark this value 4.67. This dimensional line mark this value 4.67 inch. So here I will tell. So from 0 to this value we have marked this side. And uh, this side we have marked from 0 to 3.9 we have marked this value. Okay. So this value plus this value. If you are adding these two we will get 4.67. Okay. Total distance is 4.67. So here, whatever these two values, add these two values, 3.9, 0 plus 0 0.77. We are getting here 9 plus 7 means 16, 3 plus 1 means 4. We will get the same value. Okay, this value plus this value. Like that we have to mark. Here always remember, whatever the last number is there. So in the veneer scale, take that number. Okay, 7, 7 is coming here. Remove that number from this number. Okay, so one side mark that value and the remaining side of the scale mark this value. Okay, total length will give the required value. Let us take one more example, it has not given. So I need to mark 3.56 inches in this scale. Okay, so you need to take the large number 6. In the veneer scale where 6 is coming, 66. Okay, so remove that number from this number. Okay, 0 0.66 inches. So remove 0 0.66 inches from this given value. 6 minus 6 means 0. 5 minus 6 means 9. Here 2.9. Mark this value and this value. Total sum will give this value. Okay, at 0.66 that is here. At 66 do the vertical line. Up to some length. After 66th line, take 2.9 in this scale from 0 to 2. 2.9 means before 3 1 line. Okay, this. Okay. So at this line do the vertical. So this gap, here in this gap, do the dimensional line, keep the arrows, mark this length, 3.56 inch. So here how it is coming, we have marked this value from 0 to this value and we have marked this value 2.9, this plus this value, total value will give 3.56 inches. After marking these values, here mark the given dimension, this main scale, that is 5 inch scale it is, it is nothing but the drawing length is 12.7 cm, from 0 to 5, we have to mark 12.7 cm on the dimensional line, write down RF value, how much it has given, it has given full size scale, for full size scale we are taking 1, okay, RF is 1, and here we are taking, this scale is measuring inches, this scale is measuring 1 tenth of inch, this scale is measuring 1 hundredth of inch, this way we are marking the dimension, the other lectures of scales, I give the link in description box. Please check it. If you like this lecture, hit the like button, subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.